Melinda, can you talk a bit about the structure of the fellowship? Like, what exactly is it? So the Atlantic Fellows for Social Equity is one of six programs around the world. And what we're really interested in is Indigenous-led social change. That's the only one of the six hubs that is explicitly about Indigenous-led social change, um, where Indigenous knowledges, um, ways of being and doing are critical to both the delivery and the design and the outcomes of the programme. Because Melbourne holds the fellowship and we are a kind of a key partner or a node. How does that, how do you understand that relationship structurally? So the money was gifted to Melbourne University and so that's where the hub um, is situated. And Auckland feeds into that programme by um, assisting with recruitment of New Zealand based participants in the programme with um, curriculum design with the delivery of the curriculum. If somebody was coming into the program, somebody, a new, a new potential fellow, what would you say to them about what they might expect from the program? Any fellow needs to come in with the view that they are going to work hard in a free and open and resource space to progress the kind of um, thinking, practice, engagement, research, whatever it is they want to do to, for their development. What sort of projects do you think that the um, fellowship is looking for? I mean, clearly it's not looking for just business as usual projects. It's looking for projects that are a bit outside the box and have some transformative kind of. We've had some really exciting social change projects um, looking at youth development, health, um, leadership inside tertiary organisations and regional development. But we've also had applications from people who are working, you know, with the health of their local rivers. People are interested in architecture who want to, to think about how we might indigenise our urban spaces. I mean, the world is their oyster really. This isn't just another university degree level programme. In fact, you don't need to have a degree to do this programme. You need to have a history of working in communities on a particular kaupapa or project. Um, and you've reached a point in your career where you know you need to work with others to advance or to amplify the work that you're doing. And that's the kind of project that we're really interested in. Mm -hmm.